what's up YouTube this is my first time going live so yeah not really used to this supposed to be working on the go-kart but waiting for my dad to come so I can work on it probably put me on work cleaning out the go-kart trailer after it got wet um, after we had a crash heading to Bundy on the weekend. But yeah, um probably get I'll probably get told to clean the go kart trailer, most likely. Which is a pig sigh. Cause it leaks. If you all know what go karting is, um I know what this motor is, but can you guys try and guess what motor this is? Just let me know if you know what this motor is. I do. But this motor. It's a go-kart motor, of course. So, that's tuna, everything on it. But yeah, I know what it is. Do you guys? Challenge for you. This is a go motor. <laughs> So, that's my friend's go-kart, my friend's one, my go-kart, race car, race car, race car frames, all race car frames, man, compact, micro sprint, vintage, compact, or midget, one of them. Then we got a vintage compact that ran as a current day compact at Archfield and all that stuff. And it actually got a second place podium in the feature race. And the motor in that has not been changed since 1969. Then we got a current day midget, which the guy that drives owns this car is too scared to drive after he had his massive ass crash. Then we got the we got forty four, which is Corey Stoddard. Supposed to be running on Boxing Day. But motor's not done yet. So yeah. Don't think we'll be running. It depends. Then we got a go kart here which Corey drives. And then another go kart and then two more go karts beside that. And then a frame up on the box up there. And then we got, we just got so many race cars around here. Oh yeah, another challenge for you guys. Do you know? I do, because this motor, I'm pretty sure I ran on my go kart. But tell me, do you guys know what this motor is? Pretty sure I ran this one on my cart. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I ran. Yeah, I think this is. Oh, there's a spark plug underneath it. That's why you're not seeing straight. But if you look carefully through the hole there, that's the piston going up and down. So there's the actual piston right there. Then everything it needs. So that's your piston right there. Piston going up. Yeah, that's your piston in the go kart. So that's so that um here is where your exhaust pipe goes. Yeah, I would show you my go kart, but it's stuck behind the stuff so I can't really show you unless I move my friend's go-kart forwards but I can't damage the um oh well, but I can't damage the paint because the paint's brand new um I don't want to get in shit sorry for my language but yeah I don't want to get in trouble for wrecking the paint on it so yeah we got 
an arrow cart in front of me. This, my friend's one is an arrow. This one's an arrow with, that is a J motor. So, and it has a clutch. So a J motor, um, you have to have one of the things covered. So it doesn't, because they J motors can't take so much air. So we've got the accelerator here. So if I push it, you see that move? That's the accelerator. Then we got the brake, which will work the brake caliper. Okay, I'll try and get in there for you guys, so I can show you my car. So, just moving the stuff so I can get in, because I ain't fit for this. So, group, because I go to you from Fridays. Well, not now, because... Not now, because... School's finished. But yeah, this is my go-kart where I'm at now. This is mine. This is my baby. See, so yeah, as you can tell. My name, Chloe Bennett. My number. My go-kart is a CRG. Mine's a CRG. Which is a really light go-kart. So... Oops. This is my motor. The builder is JT. Um, so my motor is a standard. It has to have both of the holes open. So, because it has to have so much air. We only just put a brand new throttle cable because, yeah, I sort of crashed my old go-kart. We're still working on it. Brand new fuel tank. See, they, this is only a 3 litre, I think it is. Doesn't take much. It's got a bit of fuel in it now. But yeah, they don't take much. Um, They're my Hoosiers, which is American brand wheels. But yeah, my motor is a Yamaha 100S. That one is, that one on that go-kart, it is a Yamaha something J because it's a J motor. Ooh, I think my bearings, no, my bearings are on the front. So there's, my bearings are just there behind the nut. My bearings are really tight because you've got to be able to move them. But no, you can't move them, so my wheel is really stiff. The steering is good. If you get these in the wrong positions when you pull them out, your car is stopped. So we hope um my mate, my sponsor, he did this side. Why well, I took that out, that side all off, and I sort of ow, I sort of um dropped this, but I hope. I put it correctly. Hope I said it correctly after I dropped it. Don't know yet. But yeah. It is freaking hot. We only just had our go-karts painted, so mine um my go-kart dad had to put a bolt and stuff behind the throttle because when I was racing I would push it too far. And the flap, the butterfly, the butterfly in the motor would actually, um, so, eat one, two, have to get through there. So, in this part here, so that's my carby, it's covered, so stop the, and air and water to getting through into the carby. That's also your carby, but it helps give you air. So, that doesn't matter because it has a, um... It actually has a thing in there to stop the dirt from going into the carby. But when you start racing, you have to take the sticky tape off. The race tape. Off here. Um, I'll just show you inside. I would, but I can't because the thing's not here. But yeah, this is my... Um, 
body that I have. If you've ever, this that's my body I have on my go kart. But if you ever want to go and watch the speedway races, um, type if you have Facebook, type Revhead Productions. Revhead Productions up on YouTube or um, Facebook and you'll find the videos of the racing. Well yeah, this is mine after I had it. So I got, what's it called? I forgot what it's called but um, I had a massive as crash and totaled my DAF car which is a vintage which is a vintage um, go-kart frame but I totaled it so I fucked that one so yeah this is my new CRG frame we only just put it together but yeah my old races I got um, so I got ran over so all my cart sides stuffed as you can see as you can see like so it's broken see, broken all they are is just like cardboard sort of thing so it's pretty easy to make no wonder I can smell fuel there's fuel right beside me they're using it to start the car that's beside me so, um, that's my, um, temperature, uh, trimeter, trachometer, which will tell my dad how much RPMs I think I'm getting or something. Then I have a, um, easy trim, which is this thing. So it will tell you if my car is... So it'll tell me if my cart's running too lean and I'd have to put more fuel in it. And if I put it, if it goes in these two greens, that's good. But once it hits the rich, I have to detune it and take it down a bit. But this um, thing here, I forgot what it's called, but it um, tells you my speed that I'm doing and how hot my cart gets. So how hot my motor gets. Sweet, that actually put that around it so I don't have to get myself hurt. But yeah, brand new throttle cable. My dad just rebuilt this motor and it cost, it was a lot of money to get it rebuilt. It's wondering why. So I can't, so right now, I can't turn it. That'll be the worst thing to do. Turn it. If you look carefully, wait, I can, because it's not connected or anything. But if you watch my sprocket carefully, you can actually see the bend in it. So this um, friggin' thing, it actually has a bend from my my friend when she crashed so it actually the bend right at my sprocket so I'll turn but I gotta be careful if you I think they fixed it but um see how there's that cracked that was after I had my big crash I snapped two chains I snapped two chains in one day at Northgate so yeah, I damaged everything. Um, I actually snapped a fin off the back of my cart, so right there, I snapped it. I actually snapped it there, and it was pretty bad. But I'm gonna go, guys. Bye.